Hey everyone, so I am completely enjoying all these fall tutorials on YouTube. There are so many YouTubers out there that are so creative and I'm just loving all of them. There are several um, DIY tutorials on sweater pumpkins, but this is my tutorial on it. I wanted something easy and fast and this is what I came up with. You will need the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. You'll need a glue gun, some scissors, a thick marker or a thick, thick tool to create a hole on top of the pumpkin. And then the lace is optional. It depends on you and how you'd like to embellish your pumpkin, so it just depends. The following pieces are also optional. So painting your pumpkin white is totally optional. The reason I did this though was because I was using white sweater material and the orange was peeking through. So I did that, and while that was drying, I went ahead and started cutting my stems. You're gonna cut six inches long, okay? And then however many stems you're going to need. I picked up this sweater at the thrift store, the Goodwill, and ended up paying $3 for it. Um, I love the buttons and figured I could use the bus buttons for another project. However, I loved the texture and I loved the color of this. So keep in mind when you're shopping for the sweater at a thrift store or if you have an old sweater, the theme that you're going with. If you're gonna stick with neutral colors, then look for neutral colors and stay, stay with that theme. If not, you're gonna have all kinds of different textured pumpkins and then it's gonna look off. So, so you're gonna cut that straight line across. You don't need that armpit area, so don't mind that. You just cut straight across and that's the piece that you're gonna need. So you're gonna take that thick tool I told you at the beginning and punch a hole through the film and slip in your pumpkin and start tucking the material into those holes. So basically you're gonna do another hole on the other side and you're gonna tuck the material in. So what I do do is I do apply a little bit of glue on the inside of that hole and I make sure that it sticks and this is what you get guys. So you tuck in both sides and that's what you get. So as far as our stems, you're going to do, you're going to fold it in half three inches and you're going to glue it with the glue gun and you're just going to glue and either you can leave it like this, like a loop or you can glue it all together and make it a stem. And like I said, all you're going to do is glue three inches, apply glue to three inches of it and fold it in half and that'll be your stem. So then at this point, you can embellish however you'd like. You can apply twine, you can apply ribbon, you can apply a leaf, you can apply whatever you'd like to your pumpkin to make it come alive. That's always my favorite part. However, I'm sticking pretty simple just because, again, my theme is simple. It's neutral colors and I don't like to do a lot. So I just add twine and, and that's pretty much it. Or I leave them simple, as you can see. So I'm just working on the white pumpkin and I'll go ahead and leave you guys. Stay tuned for my next video. It is announcing the winners of the giveaways. And then stay tuned to Friday. I have another fun giveaway. And um, actually that's tomorrow. And it's the pumpkins, those sequin pumpkins. So stay tuned for that. And that's it guys. I hope you liked this tutorial. Like I said, it was super easy. Take an old sweater and create these awesome pumpkins. And display them for your friends and family. And everybody will ask you where you got your pumpkins and you can show them. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.
at the end of this video or towards the end, I do show you how it looks when you don't paint the pumpkin white. So I just want to kind of give you that insight. And then if you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you like this tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have a ton of Christmas stuff coming up, guys, and I cannot wait to share that stuff with you. I'll start posting Christmas stuff by the 3rd of October to give everybody a chance to get into the Dollar Tree and get your Christmas supplies before it's all gone. <laughs> okay, thanks guys again. Have a great week and thanks for watching. Bye.